And this is the day that the Lord hath made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it that God has led us. God is leading us through this consecration, through this 21 day of afflicting our souls as we are seeking the face of God. We're seeking his face before we seek his hand. We want his face because we want a relationship and an encounter, fellowship with God. We want to know what God's sentiment is concerning whatever we're doing. Lord, if you're pleased, if we seek your face, we'll be able to tell that you're pleased. And God, if you're not pleased, we'll be able to tell that also because we'll be able to see it by the expression on your face. And so here we are today on the 20th day of our 21 day fast and consecration. And we know that God indeed is going to move. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now. We bless you. We glorify you and we adore you, Lord, that you love us so much that you would make us partakers of your divine nature, that we would be co-laborers together with Christ, that as God you have glorified your son and allowed him to be seated on the right hand of your authority, the right hand of your favor, that we could be joint heirs with Christ Jesus. And so we ask you today as we interact through prayer that you will hear our prayer, O oh God, that you will be satisfied, that you will minister to us as we minister unto you and for the sake of so many others, that you will get the glory, that you will be praised in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Today, we're going to do something a little different. So I want you to stick with me now. God bless you. Carol Turner, El the Elstons, Forever Boopy, Katrina Richburg, Lisa Williams, Jerry Ely, Ava Suba, Dar Ava Suba and her dad, Dorothy Banks, James Terrell, Melba Barnett, Monet Raphael, uh, Elder Michael Wright, Gwen Rogers, Alvira Stokes, uh, Lisa Williams, and the list goes on and on and on and on. For those of you that can live chat, I, I have an assignment for you today. We're going to do something different. I'm going to give us an introduction. And then with the introduction, I'm going to lead us in prayer in each category of the different fast. And if you can't chat, I want you to just to pray. I want you to pray. I'll give you the focus. And I do believe God's going to do something. I, I, can, I can sense it. I can tell that God is ready. He's been waiting on us. And so we are ready to go forth. And so we've been fasting and we've been praying. We've been seeking God. And just for sake of review, why fast? What is the purpose in our fasting? Well, we discovered that fasting is the Christian believer's tool. It's a tool that we use to access the active realm of God, the active realm of God. Literally, the believer disengages the natural things, food, we sacrifice something to engage a higher or spiritual realm that we may find attainment. So in other words, we, we minimize one that we can then maximize the other. We minimize the natural that we can maximize the spiritual. Yes, God is omnipresent. God is everywhere at the same time, geographically and eternally, meaning God is in the past, He's in the present. God is in the future. When? Right now. Yet God is divinely engaged at a specific place. God is moving by his spirit and he's moving in all the earth. And so we want to always be where God is actively engaged. We don't want to be stuck where God was engaged, but where God is in 2021 January the 30th, 2021, where is God actively moving right now? 
That's where we want to be. Can you imagine if the 120 after Jesus ascended, if they were not in that upper room? Because that was where God was actively engaged. So we don't want to just trust God and be in the wrong location because it's about timing and location. We want to be at the right time, at the right place where God is actively involved. Listen to this. God desires for us to admit him into a specific space. Where's that space? That space is where God is waiting for us. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. God wants to have an encounter with us, but we need an encounter with God. So we've got to be where he is, where he is actively engaged, where he has designated the place and the time so that we can encounter God and God can encounter us. That's fasting, places us on the level where God is. But then prayer is a specific hallway or it's the wing that we enter where there will be guaranteed divine engagement. We got to be on the level where God is, but then we've got to go down the wing where God is moving, where the spiritual blessings are that we so desperately need. Prayer also gives us access to the specific doorway or the gateway that we can enter the storeroom where our desired resources are waiting for us. I want to suggest that our names are already on it. God has already tagged our spiritual blessings and it has our name on it and it's waiting for us to get to where God is actively involved and where God is making available to us whatever we need. So we got to fast to get to the right realm, the right level. Then we've got to pray to go down the right hallway. And then when we're fasting and when we're praying, then we're able to access, go through the doorway to get exactly what we need. So whereas fasting alone allows one to reach the necessary level or realm, the blessing is really in praying while we're fasting to choose the hallway where the room of the storehouse exists for all of the resources. So this is what we're doing. So here, here are the instructions. What I want to do, I'm going to name the fast. Then I'm going to name the focus of that fast. I'm going to read the scriptures that pertain to it. And those of you that can live chat, I want you to start chatting in a prayer. Doesn't have to be long. As a matter of fact, don't let it be long, but let it be relevant to the focus that we're praying at that given time. God is going to do something with this live chat. I believe as we're chatting it, as we're praying, as we're honestly talking to God, that God's going to start moving and things are going to happen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, live chat with me. Tell me that you're ready. Tell me that you're ready to start live chat with your prayers. Tell me that you're ready to start talking to God because this is not something that we want to do. This is corporate. We're doing this together. And I just need to know that somebody, could, could Katherine Hatfield from Fairfax, Virginia, she's saying, yup, yup, Clarence Gardner, he's praying, Elder Elston. So, well, oh, I see you, Monet Raphael. Amen, I'm ready. My, uh, Elder Michael Wright, he's ready. Gwen Rogers is ready. Lisa Williams says, yes, Bishop, I am ready. Listen, God has been waiting on us. I do believe as God gave me this exercise for us today, I believe that God was ready last night. He was ready for today. God has already assigned his angels. They're already in place and they are ready to move on our behalf. You just type your prayer in, keep it short, but type it in. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to begin with, with the first prayer, the first prayer. And let me read this scripture uh, that, to let us know men are to always pray and not faint. Men are to always pray and not faint. Here we go now, beginning with the Daniel 
fast, the Daniel fast. Why do we engage the Daniel fast? Well, the Daniel fast is that we are fasting and praying for natural and spiritual health and healing. So you can pray for yourself or you can pray for someone else. You can pray for the healing of this nation, but for natural or spiritual healing. And the scripture from Daniel 1 and 8 says, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. He desired that there would be a physical response to the correct fast and prayer unto God. And Isaiah 58 and 8 says, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Isaiah 53 and 5, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And here we go. And with his stripes, we are healed. Come on, start praying. Start chatting in your prayer. God healed my body. God, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. God, I pray that every infirmity that has come upon me, that God, that you will give me victory over that, that you will let your healing virtue begin to flow in the name of Jesus. And God, I trust your word. And I'm going down through the gates of Joseph to gather and to increase, to gather and to increase word, to gather and to increase healing, to gather and to increase deliverance. Issachar, I'm going through the gate of Issachar because I'm going to minister. I'm going to serve. I'm going to serve with a healed body. I'm going to serve with a healed mind. I'm going to serve. Lord, the body of Christ has got to be healed. The body of Christ has got to be healed of bigotry, got to be healed of racism, have got to be healed of all kinds of things, vices that keep us from going. And as I gather to increase, then Lord, I will worship to battle against the spirit of infirmity. That's how I overcome it. I'm going to worship you, Lord, until your healing virtue is released. Then I'm going to battle against the spirit of hoarding so that I can serve, so that I can minister in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you for healing. You said in your word, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Come on, y'all. Come on. Then will I hear from heaven. God is saying, sitting on the throne, I will hear your prayers. I will forgive your sin. And God is saying, I will heal your land. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. Let's thank God. Let's praise him because God is answering our prayers. God is answering our prayers. Now we go to the to, to the focus of Elijah. We did the Elijah fast. And what is the purpose of the Elijah fast? We are fasting and we are praying to break crippling fears and overcome emotional and mental problems. That means stress. That means feeling so oppressed that we're unable to function fear of sickness, fear of dying, fear of failure, whatever the lie that the devil has told, we're coming against it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that we are in word or do, do all, in word or deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. First Kings chapter 19, I'm going to read just a few verses. Verse 9, and he came thither unto a cave. This is Elijah. And he lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him. And he said unto him, what doest thou here, Elijah? Fear will put us in the wrong place. Fear will put us in the wrong perspective. Verse 12, and after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after fire, a still small voice. Verse 15 and 16 and 18. And the Lord said unto Elijah, go, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. When thou comest, anoint Haziel to be king over Syria. You get up from that fear and you get busy doing the work of the kingdom. There's got to be succession. Someone's got to come after us. And so we've got to be busy having impact 
16, and Jehu, the son of Nishmi, shalt thou anoint to be king over Israel, and Elisha of Shaphath, and of Abel Mahola, shalt thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. Oh, it's not going to stop with us. It's going to continue beyond us. Verse 18, yet have I left, have, have I left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him. All right, now let's start praying. We're coming against the spirit of fear. We're coming against it, but God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit that would paralyze us, the spirit that would halt us, the spirit that would prevent us from walking forth by faith. And we enter into the gates of Gad. That means to have good fortune. I will not be afraid of failure and I will battle against that spirit of fear. I will battle against it with faith. That's right. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hallelujah to God. And it's the evidence of things not seen. Now I'm going to enter into the gate of Zebulon. That means the dwelling place. Hallelujah. Then, and the spirit, I rebuke the spirit, the familiar spirit, the, fami the demon spirits that come together, that collude together to stop me from entering into the dwelling place of God where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. And so I repent. I repent, I repent, God, for the lost time. I repent, God, for going the wrong way. But I'm turning back to Jesus. I'm going where the riven waters flow. I can hear the Savior calling. Repentance tears are falling. My heart turns back to Jesus. And that's where I've got to go. Oh, hallelujah. And now we go through the gate of Levi. Levi means joining. Levi means being connected. I'm an heir of God. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Or oh, we're breaking this crippling fear. Or oh, we're breaking loose because the anointing, it breaks the yoke. It destroys the yoke. And I will use the word of God to battle against the lying spirit that have told me that there's no use, that it's too late. The devil is a liar. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You pray for yourself. You pray for your spouse. You pray for your children, your grandchildren, your great nieces and nephews, your neighbors, your co-workers, members of your church. Hallelujah. The thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. All right. The John the Baptist fast. The John the Baptist. What's the focus? Fasting for influential testimony. Beloved, if ever the church needs to have positive impact, it's now. And Luke 1 15 says, For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Why? So he can have impact. So his testimony will be influential. All right, let's start praying now. We're praying for influential testimonies wherever we are, that our lives make a difference, that we are the light of the world, that we are the salt of the earth. We're entering to the gate of Reuben. That's it. That's right. Go down that hallway. Knock on that door. In the name of Jesus, Reuben means to know God. My testimony is going to be so influential because I'm walking with God. I'm talking with God. And we're going to battle against the antichrist spirit that would defy that God is real. I'm going to fight the devil with the blood of Jesus. Satan, the Lord God rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I battle that false spirit, that antichrist spirit that would try to block others from knowing who God is. And then I go through the gate of Benjamin, the gate of Benjamin. That's to have authority. If ever the people of God need authority, we need authority so we can speak to the devil. We can speak to the mountain and tell the mountain, be thou removed and it shall be cast into yonder sea. Why? Because not by might nor by power, but by thy spirit, 
saith the Lord. And we will battle against the spirit of pride by the spirit of humility, the spirit of humility. That's how we'll come against that spirit of pride that makes me think that my problem is bigger than God as the answer. The devil is a liar. That spirit of pride that makes me think that I can do it myself. The devil is a liar. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. That's right, y'all. I want you to know God is reading the live chat. God is listening to the prayers. He said, then will I hear from heaven. I want you to know right now, the spirit of God is moving. The water is troubled. You better get in the water because God is answering prayers right now. Hallelujah to God. Now we go to St. Paul fast. The St. Paul fast. Fasting, listen, for insight and crucial decision making. Insight and crucial decision making. Lord, forgive me for making decisions without consulting you first. Lord, forgive us for going and not waiting on you to say, now go forth. And Acts 9, Acts 9 verses 8 and 9 and verse 16. And this is what it says. And Saul arose from the earth. This is after the light shone and he became blind. And Saul arose from the earth. And when his eyes were open, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. Verse 9. And he was three days without sight and neither did eat nor drink. God, I'm acknowledging until you speak, until you touch my eyes, until you give me revelation, then I don't know which way I ought to go. Verse 16, the Lord said, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. I'm going to give revelation. I'm going to give insight. So God, right now, we're asking you to give us understanding. Allow us, oh God, to be clear and to know that the, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and it's a light unto my pathway. Lord, show us the way that we ought to go. I ask you, God, to show individuals as it relates to their careers in the name of Jesus as it relates to their educational path. In the name of Jesus, somebody is thinking about deciding and choosing a spouse, but God, they got to get a word from you first. Hallelujah. Somebody's about to sign a contract. Let them get a word from you first, God. Let them get a word. And as we go through the gate of hearing, oh, Simeon is the gate of hearing. And the way we come against the spirit of deaf and dumbness, the spirit that would try to block me from hearing God and uh, to block me from speaking, thus saith the Lord, intense fasting. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let us hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to us. Then the spirit of Reuben again, we go through that doorway to know God. Lord, if I can hear you, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If I can hear you, I can know you, God, and I will come against that antichrist spirit with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus It's the antichrist spirit that doesn't want me to know God, but my children will know God. My grandchildren will know God. My great-grandchildren will know God. I pray that the New Harvest Ministry will know God, that those are under the sound of my voice on this live stream, they will know God. They will know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. And Judah, we're going through the gate of Judah. That's the doorway of praise. Hallelujah. We're not holding our heads down. We're lifting up our heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the King of glory shall come in, shall come in your house, shall come in your home, shall come in your private space, shall come in your circumstances, and we're going to fight against that perverted spirit that tries to twist the truth, that tries to twist God's reality. We're coming against it with holiness. That's right. Holiness, which means everything belongs to God. We yield our minds to God. We yield our bodies to God. We yield ourselves to God and we fight against that perverted spirit. All right, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Here's a good one. Oh, in January the 30th, 2021, we're fasting and praying for revival and soul winning. God, there's so many souls that are lost. There's so many souls that are dead in sin and they are dying and yet they don't know dead man walking. But the scriptures says, reading out of Samuel, and it says, and they gathered together in Mizpah and drew water and poured it out before the Lord and 
fasted on that day. And he said there, we have sinned against the Lord and Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. Well, listen, whenever we fast and pray, if we confess our sins to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is a promise that he made that he would do it. So we enter now through the gates of Asher. We go through the doorway of Asher. That means to have joy and happiness. And this is how our fight against the spirit of heaviness. Praise will battle the spirit of heaviness. Oh, glory to God. Yes, we will be effective as soul winners. There will be a revival in my private walk with God. There'll be a revival in my home. There'll be a revival at New Harvest. There'll be a revival in the kingdom of God among the people of faith on every continent, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in these United States, in America, North America, South America, Central America, God, in Antarctica, Austria, all, oh God, cover, cover your globe, God, send a revival such as we've never seen in our lifetime. We go through the gate of Dan, God have judged our situation, God have judged our case, and therefore, with the Holy Spirit, we will battle the spirit of bondage, the spirit that have locked up the people of God, that have locked up ministry, that have locked up opportunity. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, Zebulun, Zebulun, we go to the dwelling place, we go to the doorway, the dwelling place of God, and repentance again. God, forgive us anywhere we have participated in locking up ministry, even in our own selves, and feeling that we were weren't worthy and we couldn't do it because God has called us. And when God calls us, God equips us to be able to do. And the scripture says he worketh in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. I need you to know heaven is listening. I need you to know that heaven is listening. God said, I will hear, I will hear the prayer. I will forgive their sin. And God said, I'll heal their land. I'll heal it. Judah, praise again. Come on, give him the praise. Give God the praise. We are where God is actively engaged, where God is moving by his spirit and holiness it will battle against the spirit of perversion. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, don't give up now. We need a few more minutes, just a few more minutes. We're going all the way. Esther, 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 Esther's fasting for protection from enemies. If indeed we're going to do the work of God, we're going to come against the enemy of our souls. We're going to come against those that are being used by the enemy. But Esther 4 and 16, go gather together all the Jews that are present in Sushan and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also in my mate is will fast likewise, and so will I go unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. But Esther 5 and 2, Esther 5 and 2, and it was so when the king saw Esther, huh, that's us coming before God, the, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. Somebody's getting favor from God right now. You've been praying for a long time, but God said, this was a designated time. This is the day that the Lord hath made. And so I'm rejoicing and I'm glad in it. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in her hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Who's going to touch the scepter today? Who's going to touch the scepter? God is saying, come unto me. Come, come away, my beloved. Come and have a one-on-one -on -one with God. We enter to the gates of Gad to have good fortune and happiness. And we will battle the spirit of fear with the spirit spirit of faith. That's right. Faith will battle the spirit of fear. Naphtali. Oh, that's a good one. Go through the gate of Naphtali. That means to wrestle. We can't be passive, y'all. We've got to be willing to go all the way. We've got to be willing to invest ourselves and love will allow us to battle the spirit of jealousy, the spirit where the flesh tries to compete with the spirit of God. And then Dan to judge. God has judged our case. And God is saying, I will 
answer your prayer. I will release the blessing. I will release the virtue and the Holy Spirit to battle the spirit of bondage. We don't have to be bound no more. We can lift up our heads and we can give God the glory and the honor. The disciples fast. The disciples fast. Oh, this is a good one. While we're in this pandemic, the devil is a liar. The disciples fast. Fasting for freedom from addictions and strongholds. Freedom from addictions and strongholds. Some folk have been in their homes now and they're finding addiction. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is about to break that addiction. God is about to break that stronghold. That's right. Those thoughts that keep invading your mind. God's about to overcome it. Dan, we enter to the gate of Dan. Listen, and it says to judge. God is judging our case and the Holy Spirit will battle that spirit of bondage, that stronghold. Matthew 17, 20 through 21. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain. Come on. Anybody got any mountains? You got loved ones with mountains? Remove hence to yonder place and it shall be removed and nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. How be it? This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Oh, we're fasting and praying right now. Oh, yes, we are. And this demon, it's got to go. It's got to go. We're not going to tolerate. We won't accommodate. Oh, no, we won't. We won't look the other way. You're getting out of here. Hallelujah. Go through the gate of Asher and the spirit of joy, the spirit of joy, praise to battle the spirit of heaviness. Joseph, to gather and to increase. Go ahead in that door and watch God begin to, to gather. Don't be embarrassed. Come on, go in and type your prayer in there. Go in and put it. Let it be documented. I believe God is reading these prayers. I believe heaven is reading these prayers. Hallelujah. Giving to come against the spirit of hoarding in the name of Jesus. Some folk are just hoarding bad information, negative information, but God is saying in the name of Jesus, that's right, we release God, release every stronghold, release every addiction, break the chain, break it. I will not go from one bondage to another bondage. I will be free. I will be free. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away. Let it get behind you. Hallelujah. Issachar, to minister, to minister. I will worship God to battle the spirit of spiritual infirmity, the battle of mental infirmity in the name of Jesus. Reuben, here you go, to know God. Walk through that door. I will know God. I want to tell you something right now. You're knowing God right now because God is revealing himself to us. God is making himself known. And the blood of Jesus, it comes against every antichrist spirit. The devil is defeated. Jesus said, all power is given unto me, both in heaven and in earth. Oh, glory to God. And now we come. Hallelujah. Ezra, Ezra fasting to solve problems. Oh God, every problem that we have, every problem we are aware of, every problem that we're confronted with, some for years, some for decades, some since this pandemic. But in the name of Jesus, we are fasting and praying to solve the problems, the problems. God in order to solve the problem, we got to have answers. We need answers. God, I'm asking you, let the cloud of heaven open up and shower us with answers, with answers. God, answers to little problems, to big problems, whatever it is. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. God, that's the answer. Give us an answer. We need a ream of word from God that speaks exactly to where I am. Ezra 8 and 21. Then I proclaim the fast there at the river of Ahava that we might afflict our souls. That means fasting before our God to seek of him a right way for us and for our little Little ones and for all of our substance. God, we ask you to solve the problem of this pandemic, the problem of a South African virus, the problem of a, of, 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 a, of a virus down from the Caribbean area, a problem for the virus that's in Europe, wherever it's coming from. God, we know ultimately it's coming from the gates of hell. We know it's coming from the pit of hell because the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But in the name of Jesus, we enter into the gate 
the gate of Reuben because Reuben is how we know God. Lord, you'll show us. You'll show us the secrets. You'll give us the insight. Lord, let some scientist, let some doctor all of a sudden in his sleep, let him come up against some understandings. Let him realize what you're saying to know God. And we battle again that Antichrist spirit. Jesus came for life. The Antichrist spirit comes for death. But we battle with the blood of Jesus. And Simeon, we're hearing God. We're hearing God. Lord, just start speaking to us while we're eating our meals, oh God. While we're sleeping in the bed, oh God. While we're riding in our cars. While we're doing our daily chores, hearing God. And God is hearing us in intense prayer for battling the deaf and dumb spirit. I speak in the name of Jesus. Let the people of God start hearing. Let the people of God start hearing the voice of God. And the Lord is hearing our prayers. And Benjamin, Benjamin, we're going through the doorway of Benjamin to have a seat of authority. That means we can reign under the anointing. That means that God has not made us the tail, but God has made us at the head, that we will lead and that God will allow us to have influence in the lives of others and humility. It will battle the spirit of pride that would make us think it's us. And if anyone gives us any glory, we will give it to God. All glory, it belongs to God. And Levi, Levi means joint heir with Christ, joining, joining with Christ. And with the spirit, the word of God, we will battle against the spirit of separation that will separate us from God that will separate us from each other, the body of Christ. We've got to come together. We've got to be united. This has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with economic status. This has nothing to do with ethnicity and race. This is all about us being members of Christ's body. This is all about us being the bride of Christ. This is all about us being heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Father, we have gone through, we've gone through eight major fasts, eight major fasts. We understand it now. We now have the tools in our toolbox. And so, God, we will pull them out for the remainder of this year and for the rest of our journey. So, God, now we go searching for the evidence. We go searching for the fruit. We go searching for every sign that you have heard our prayer, that you are moving by your spirit, and that what the devil meant for evil, God, you meant it for good. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. I just heard the Lord say, tell somebody that whatever you did that you thought disqualified you from God, that's a lie from the pit of hell because Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. And what was he talking about? Whatever we've done that knocked us out of fellowship with God, Jesus said, I paid for it. Jesus paid it all and all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain, but he washes white as snow. Lift up your heads, saints. Lift up your heads, beloveds. Now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But this we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. Thank you for joining in the live chat prayer, the live chat prayer room. God delights when his people begin to pray all at the same time when the people of God begin to pray. And God can hear each of us individually, but he's hearing a sound that's coming forth. And it's a collective sound. It's a unified sound. It's a people that are looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And God is saying, now we are operating from a position of advantage not disadvantage, for we have more going for us than we could ever have going against us. So let's walk in this freedom. We've got one more day, one more day, and that we will have completed our 21-day fast. Oh, keep praying today. Keep reading God's word today. Keep talking to God today. Keep listening to God today. And I'm here to tell you, we are going to be testifying for a long time what God has done in this consecration. I just want to read something to you, and I'm going to let you go. 
something. The Lord helped me to see something. Second Chronicles 7, 14. I never saw this before, but this is what God said to me. He says, if my people, that's the saints, that's the church, that's you, that's me. If my people, which are called by my name, that's believers, Christians, shall humble themselves. That means to lighten our load from pride. That's how we, that's why we fast. We fast to lighten the load so we can then remove all of the heavy weights and the sin that does so easily beset us. Why do we want to lighten our load? So we can be elevated. So we can go to a higher level in God. So we can go to the realm where God is presently active. And then pray. We said that's going down the hallway to engage God's activity, the hallway of prayer. If we do it and seek my face, that's entering into the specific doorway where God presently is, where God presently is moving. Go down that doorway and God is saying, and, 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 and we will have a God encounter and turn from our wicked ways. When we go in that doorway, guess what? We're responding to God's transforming power, God's power of transformation. Then, Will I hear from heaven? God says, then God is saying, I will listen to your petition from my throne room and I will forgive every sin and I will heal the land. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Listen to this again and again and again and again. Keep listening. I'm trying to tell you, God is making heaven accessible to us. For he has given us every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. God is opening up the heavens. Yes, he is. And I hear as Gabriel, as Gabriel said to Daniel, the very first day that you afflicted your soul, the very first day that you began this fast, the very first day that you began to pray, I, God said, I heard you and I've come because of your words. God is saying, I've been moved by your consecration. God is saying, what used to be hard, God's going to make it easy. In the name of Jesus, believe God. God bless you. We will see you tomorrow at 9.30 for Biblical Academy on the Zoom and 11 o'clock for our morning worship service. But so help me, God. Tomorrow is already a blessed day. 21 days tomorrow of consecration. God bless you. I think we have just discovered a new prayer forum. We're going to call it the live chat prayer forum. The new harvest live chat prayer forum. We'll get it together and we'll let you know how we're going to use it and how we're going to manage it. God bless you in Jesus name. Heaven smile upon you. What a God. And that was Minister Mark Stephen Payne that was playing in the background. And that music is what sets the atmosphere for me in this space and my mother and my wife as we are in the presence of God. My wife is at work. My mom is sitting in front of me. And God is here. And God is saying, your prayers have been heard. Be blessed now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.